Hey to everyone that usually watches us on the Yes Network. We're so sorry that we can't bring you the usual content that we bring you with Yankees baseball and Nets basketball, but we're going to try to do our best to entertain you during these crazy times. So my good friend, Sarah Kustak in New York. Sarah, how you doing? Everyone, I'm fantastic. I'm doing very well. I'm healthy. I'm safe. I'm inside. I'm getting to talk to you. So what can be better? What day of the quarantine is this for you now? Oh, I thought you were going to ask me what day of the week this was. I was going to go with that next because it looked like you were trying to figure it out. Um, it is, I started staying in and not leaving the house, I would say, eight day, it's, is it Monday? It's Monday, so last, so like eight. I'm on eight. Have you officially lost your mind yet? Oh, no. I'm trying to make this a time where I'm connecting with myself, get a chance to FaceTime, talk with friends, talk with family. As you know, we're always so insanely busy running around with so much stuff and trying to take care of work obligations and so many other things that we enjoy and we love and I know that everyone misses, uh, but I try to use this as a good time to talk to everyone, FaceTime with a bunch of people. I uh, read a lot. I love to read. I get made fun of for that quite a bit. I got to my TV and watched all the shows and movies that I Eagle has put on my list. I'll get to that. I feel like we have plenty of time. Uh, so it's been good. What about you? What if, where are you at? What day of the quarantine? You're down, you're down at your home in Florida, correct? So I'm in Clearwater, Florida. And I'm just self-quarantining. I did go out of the house yesterday. I haven't been told that I needed to stay in, but I've just been trying to do my part, like the CDC recommends social distancing. If you can stay home, stay home, not only for yourself, but really for the good of everyone else. But yesterday I had been in about a week. Um, and then I decided yesterday I was gonna venture out to get some food for the week and stock up a little bit so I wouldn't then have to go back out for a while if I didn't have to, with the exception of going on my balcony or maybe going for a walk in the area. So I went to Target, right? Animals. Animals, Sarah. I've never seen anything like it. Okay. Outside or in the Target? In the Target. And they actually had four security guards with stanchions in front of them, and they had <laughs> They're talking about roaming wild animals? You take no. this I'm imagining people with their dogs and cats. No, there are no actual animals. The humans were acting like animals, is what I'm saying. Oh. You got it was, me. I was like, what? I was like, what are these people doing? But they actually had, <laughs> and, and give the Clearwater Target credit, because they, they saw that there would be a problem with everybody raiding the shelves, trying to buy up everything. So they had like the disinfectants here, they had paper towels, no toilet paper, and then they had something else and you were allowed to go up and pick one. And then they would hand you the product. So as to not hoard, so everyone could potentially get something that they really need. So uh, hopefully nobody is hoarding out there. Just get what you need. There isn't a shortage. You know how many, so they would hand it to you or they just try, it's like when you put out the Halloween candy in the front of your house at home and please just take one type of thing or they were actually physically handing us out. I feel like handing it out. <laughs> yeah, they were handing it out and people were getting upset that they couldn't get more than one and I'm like, come on people, it'll be okay. Like it will be fine. So have you been speaking of going shopping and getting, have you been cooking a lot? What have you been eating? Do you have essentials that you feel like you need in your home in order to yes. feel yes. comfortable? So I actually ordered on Amazon uh, toilet paper and paper towels before all of this happened. Not that I was, you know, thinking this was all going to happen. It just happened to be that time where I needed those things and I always buy them. Uh, off of Amazon just because it's easier. So I had just purchased stuff on there. So I'm good on the toilet paper and paper towel front, thank goodness. And then as far as food is concerned, I eat a lot of like produce, vegetables and whatnot. So I have been cooking a lot. I don't really eat meat. So I've been doing a lot of like vegan cuisine. And I think tonight is going to be, I'm looking over here like somebody's gonna tell me what I'm gonna be making, there's nobody here. Um, tonight I think I'm gonna make uh, vegan pad thai with butternut squash noodles. Ooh, 
Have you been putting the, will you, are you someone who will put these recipes on your Instagram or on Twitter or share? I, I haven't, have yeah, I haven't yet, but I guess I could because I have all the time in the world now. <laughs> so there's no reason why I couldn't. But the problem is I never follow a recipe. I kind of see what's in the fridge and have an idea of what I want to do and then hope for the best. That's my recipe. I like that attitude. Yeah. So what about you? Do you have ever everything you need have you been ordering delivery or how's it going no i've been cooking a lot again i'm trying i'm trying to use this because through the course of the season or sometimes it's not as easy to make a more elaborate dish or meal or try different recipes so i've been cooking quite a bit i've been using um amazon prime like the whole foods there's a whole foods right down the street today. um so they do the deliveries which has been great so i've been trying to yeah i've been we talked to so much of our um next medical staff prior to this or just when everything was starting to pick up and we we're still on the road trip and people were saying all the right things of course and all the messages put out about washing your hands and, and being safe and all those type of things but they said the other big thing make sure you're putting good things in your body to help your immune yeah. system so i took that to heart not to say that i don't normally try and eat healthy uh but so no a lot of similar to you like produce fruits things like that trying to cook trying to make some different things um yeah, but I find when you're in your house and you're just in your house with all this food, um, <laughs> making things, I'm like, who can I give this to? Who can I send this off to? And that's not part of it. But, um, but it's been good. I feel like I'm stocked up. Um, and just appreciative. Like, that's, you see what is happening all around the world, what people are going through. Just appreciative that you have food in your house, have what you need. Um, yeah. Safe, so. Yeah, it's been all right. But my cook, my, I always tell my friends uh, that I am a good cook and I don't think they always believe me. Um, now I'm trying, now I'm starting to like send the pictures, send the recipe. I think, I think it's catching on a little bit. Now, is there one cheap thing that you bought or one like thing that maybe you normally wouldn't eat, but you're like, meh, I'm stuck at home. I'm going to get that. No, because see, if I get it and it's here at home, then it's gone in like two seconds. I have zero self discipline when things are in front of me. Um, so I try not to get that stuff. If anyone that's around me know I have a very big sweet tooth, and I wouldn't even say there's fake. Like you start putting desserts or different things in front of me, um, fried all of it, and I'm in on all of it, and it never lasts long. So I taken the approach of if it's not in the house, then. I can't have it, but I don't know, girl. There's there there's a lot though. I feel like I told you I'm on day eight. What eight or nine? I think we may have some time. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> anything for you? Anything that has been uh, nothing too wild. So I think I told you this last time we spoke. Uh, Sweeney Murdy, who works for WFAN, yeah. his daughter CC sells Girl Scout cookies every year. And I used to be a Girl Scout. Were you ever a Girl Scout? Um, no, I was not. But I ate a lot of Girl Scout cookies. I could talk you through every one of them. So I was, um, I was, yeah. a, big, I, I was a big supporter of Girl Scouts who buy their cookies. Still am. So I blame Sweeney for this. But I used to be a Girl Scout. I like to support the organization. Sweeney does a really nice job of bringing her around to see women in different positions and try to show her that you know girls can do whatever they want to do. And I order a bunch of cookies every year. And I ordered, I think, 10 or 11 boxes. Not for me, but I usually leave them in the press box at George M. Steinbrenner Field, give them to some of the workers, kind of just hand them out like it's Girl Scout Christmas, right? Well, they came and everything had already ended. So now I just have 10 boxes of Girl Scout cookies sitting on my dining room table. First, I want to know which are your favorite Girl Scout cookies. You got I'm not a at the Samoas, the like short. Are you into the shortbreads, the the uh, peanut butter sandwich ones? Aren't there some lemon? I, they're all here. I guess I could theoretically try them all, but I don't want to. Um, I think the thin mints because they're the classic. But the Samoas, I actually so of the ten boxes, I've been here. When, when did they, the 12th, they canceled everything. What day are we at now? 12, 23rd. So 11 days. <laughs> I, I opened the Samoas, Sarah. I had to. They were so yeah, good. 
Get in there. See, if, uh, if I had a box of Samoas here, the, we may not be talking anymore and they, they wouldn't last past 30 minutes. Not right. as good as I remembered, though. Whoa. Yeah. I had like two and closed the box. That was it. Wait. What? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe because they've been sitting there for a while. Put them in the. Put them in the fridge. Put them in the <laughs> Try it out again. <laughs> you seem so <laughs> disappointed in me. <laughs> um. So what else? What else this week? So it is Monday. Yes. Now, to think about it what's on how have you have you been organizing your week a certain way have you been approaching things in terms of any type of to-do lists on a day-to-day -day basis how have you been trying to somewhat keep things normalized while saying it i've been doing a lot on social media as you know so that's been taking up some time aside from that i have a list of things that i would like to do and need to do but i have done none of those things one of them is cleaning out my closet which haven't even made an attempt yet. How about yourself? <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I, I feel like those are the type of little, the cleaning out the closet and making sure the apartment's clean. Um, I have, I, I'm in like three different book clubs right now. Um, one of those with our good friend, Janae Copley, um, and who is, has got us in line of like the next five books we're gonna read. But in all of them, that's, that's been a big part of what I've been trying to do. Um, writing some, like, you know, a lot of big part of our job, a lot of what we always have to do is about speaking, it's about writing, it's about researching. So just trying to, I feel like there's been some great games on or great things like that to still try and keep in touch with. I will get to the TV shows at some point. I've been trying to stay active and work out. And um, that's been a big push um, with, in, in our world that we're in the NBA and the junior NBA, a big push just about how do you still stay active or for young kids in their homes, different ways to do exercises or still work out. Uh, so I've been trying to be creative with that. Just I, the more you can move, the more it helps keep you mentally, um, yeah. balanced. Um, I saw, I saw you post a workout the other day. That looks pretty intense. Where'd you get the workout? Uh, I was kind of, that's, that's funny, uh, uh, Angel Gray, who is the um, courtside reporter for the Cleveland Cavaliers, had started, I feel like there's a lot of challenges going on around here. I'll toss some your way, whether it's push-ups, whether it's workouts. Um, so that was just kind of, that's what I mean, like getting creative, just making things up. Um, we all see different workouts on whether it's online you can find a bunch and so yeah so that was something so it was through a challenge and then you're supposed to challenge 10 other people and i how many of my friends which i've tried to kind of check off social media for the time being have checked off because i think one person actually did it and then passed it along so it didn't, it didn't work but no that's been a big part and i think for as much as we um listen to what's being said and help experts out there it's such an important thing this time which first of all huge shout out to all the doctors the nurses yeah the thank you professionals and staff and everyone who actually is on the front lines um trying to keep us healthy and safe and goodness we are so appreciative for that so the least that the rest of us can do um is to try and do our part and stay inside and so i think a lot of those things um you know help help to keep your balance help us to remember of finding ways just to still stay creative stay active stay informed and educated um and it's 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 not a super challenge that's why people are like are you going crazy it's like no this is the least if, if this is the hardest thing i have to do we'll all be all right and just i hope yeah. that warning yeah um, I saw a workout the other day. Actually, you mentioned the push-up challenge. I have about five of those to do. I haven't done any of them yet because I was like bombarded with them. I'm like, geez, I, how many people are going to challenge me to this? <laughs> Wait, will you do 50? Will you individually respond to everyone or you just swipe it all through? You can uh, toss out the names and be done. I could probably not like 50 in a row, I don't think, but um, I'll probably do them individually. I'm not huge on posting that on Instagram though, so I gotta, I gotta figure that out. I'm gonna figure out if I'm gonna post it or not, but I like to, people might just be receiving a video text of me doing push-ups. I like that. Oh, really? That's a good, it's interesting. Is this a part of your Instagram approach? 
No, I don't know. I just like, I usually, I don't know. Maybe I could start. I also saw something on, well, I just feel like I get bombarded with stuff. And then if I don't respond to everybody, I don't want anybody to feel bad. And then I don't want to make somebody else do stuff that they don't want to do. So I don't know. I just, it's a guilt thing, I guess. <laughs> I like it. Overthinking it a little bit. Overthinking 101 while quarantine. Um, also, I saw this. I feel like this is something you could get down with. I saw somebody doing a pretty sick workout with a book, like a hardcover book, using it under your feet to essentially, yeah. So like if you're, how do I explain this? And so like you can like use it on the carpet and oh. you could use it like as an ab roller kind of deal, sliding back and forth. Or you can oh. put it under your feet and use it like that. Yes, I saw that. There's so many creative things out there. You can use a book because it slides a little easier on the flip, but also paper plates. Someone, um, next time we do this, we'll actually have the handles or the posts, but it showed a whole set of workouts you can do with the things inside your home. So whether it's paper plates, using that as yes. yeah, books, you can use water bottles as weights. I like it. Unless you have in your home. I like that though. I'm into that. Other than that, man, just been, been hanging out, hanging out, reconnecting. I don't really call people anymore, strictly FaceTimes, because I have nothing to do. <laughs> yeah, have you found though, I'm, um, I, I'm not a huge phone person, or I didn't used to be, I should say, and now I've found, bless their hearts, and I love, I'm so thankful, it makes you realize just how thankful for you are for the friends and family and people in your life that are so good to you, um, but they literally, all hours, any hour, any time, I feel like 5 a.m., 2 in the morning, 10 at night, people are just face time. Like now it's just so common. Like normally when you're in your own home, you feel like you could do whatever, look however, be however. And now it's just a constant barrage. And since they know you're in your house and don't really have anything else to do, I continue to get FaceTime, 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 text. Why aren't you picking up? I know you're just home and you got no excuse. And yeah. like you were in the shower for like 10 minutes. Um, I tried to say, which I have been shutting my phone off quite a bit just to like disconnect and do whatever you need to do. Uh, however, I find that now, bless their hearts, people are getting really irritated with me if I don't pick up my phone right away. Or that's, that's yeah. there, there was a funny social media post on Instagram. Someone was talking about you can't normally be like, okay, I gotta go to get off the phone or I gotta run or I got something. And really, it's, I've done that a couple times. I've been like, what, what are you going to do? Where are you, what do you have? And I got no answer. Yeah. Well, that's, that's the tough part. You then can't get off the phone because really there's at some point in time, you're like, all right, I don't, I just don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> I'm, I'm done. I don't really want to talk to you anymore. <laughs> yeah, but it's good. It's fun. It makes it nice. Uh, like I said, it's nice to actually have plenty of time to connect with people uh, that matter most. So it's good. On a Yes Network related note. Yeah. Did you get your Yes University mug? No. It's a very prestigious university. Wait. <laughs> this, can, can I call Flip now? Wait, how did I not get a I mug? Know. Actually, call John oh. Ziegler. He probably has him. The only Yes type mug or cup I have is the Iron Eagle, the 25 years, the Iron Eagle Day mug which I use all the time. It's actually more of a, um, like a to-go, to-go mug, is that what we call them? Yeah. Um, classic, but no. Oh, girl. Now I'm wondering what the reason is that I didn't get it. And am I well, not part of it? <laughs> No, no, you've probably already graduated and don't even know it. <laughs> they had to push some people through. I think there might've been some credit issues for some of the people, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, but it's our baseball promo this year. Hopefully it sees the light of day when baseball comes back out. Uh, but we shot it here in Tampa at one of the local universities and the whole baseball crew essentially graduated Yes University. That's amazing. The Yes uh, Yankees crew, the promos you got to do are hilarious and great. Ours for Nets on Yes are a little more straightforward. Uh, they try and get everyone pumped up. Um, yours, you guys, it's all great. We're all in it together, but I really enjoy it. 
It's fun. Um, speaking now, of your now crew, I may need to get on like David Cohn or, or to Michael Kay or someone. Maybe I'll steal Ruko's if he, if he were able to get one. Yeah, I think there's probably some out there. So I'm pretty sure you can, you can make a call and they'll hook you up. Um, speaking of your Nets crew, everybody doing okay? Everyone's, is, everyone's doing great. I keep wanting to say fantastic. I know this is a challenging time, but everyone's doing really well. Um, we do group FaceTimes um, quite a bit. Uh, and yeah, everyone's, everyone's healthy. They're safe. They're home. They're with their families. Um, so yeah, so every, everyone um, is, is, of course, missing getting to do what we love most and call games and um, have all of our wonderful viewers see us on the Yes Network. Uh, but to, given the circumstances, everyone's doing really well.